I think I narrowly avoided a grand bang. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> someone groaned there. <laughs> Shall we get my next guest out? Yeah. I think so. He's in need of some male bonding. But before he joins us, here's something to whet your appetite for the next series of The Magnificent Lost. Look at this. Pilot said we were over a thousand miles off course. Who's this? I'm one of the survivors of Oceanic Flight 815. Are we really going home? Yeah, we're really going home. Rescuing your people can't really say it's our primary objective. Then what is? Help! Help! Whatever they came for, it isn't us. You want to know why we're here? I'll tell you why we're here. Let go of it! Every single living person on this island will be killed. No! What are you doing? Same thing I've always done, Kate. Surviving. We made a mistake. We were not supposed to leave. We have to go back, Kate. We have to go back! Please welcome Mr. Naveen Andrews. I see. I like what you're wearing. It's a great look you got there. Thanks very much. All right. Hey, congratulations on Lost. It's been a huge hit, and deservedly so. Um, I got hooked at the beginning, and then I kind of got a little bit... I thought, well, they don't know what they're doing. They're making this up as they go along, and I kind of lost interest, and then I'm hooked again now. So it's been very cleverly done. Do you think... Did they know what they were doing from the beginning, or have they sort of made it up a little bit, do you think? Um, I, I, I had exactly the same uh, thoughts as, as you have. Um, I, I thought at the beginning we were on track. Like the first season, I was, I'm still proud of. Dynamite. I was hooked from the first episode. Yeah, and then around about the end of the second, definitely the third, um, you know, they were, I think they were winging it. Yeah, yeah. You know? And uh, I think it's because they didn't have an end in sight. Um, in, in America, it's, it's almost as if, if they have a cash cow, they just want to keep flogging it. And so they didn't know how long possible. they have to keep this going for. Yeah, and right. now they do have an ending in sight. You know, they can keep the quality up. At least they should do. If they don't, there's no excuses there. And so uh, you say they have an ending in sight. Uh, when, when is it going to end? When is the, do you know when the final episode will be? Well, we've shot uh, half the fourth season and we've got two more years, definitely. After so you'll that. be going to the end of, so it'll be season six? Yeah. And, then, and so it. then all the answers will be there for people who've been following it They so bloody far. well should be. Yeah, because <laughs> it's confusing. And are you, are you confused as well? I'm, 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 com I'm confused when I'm actually on set. <laughs> you know, I mean, sometimes, literally, we get the script sometimes two days yeah. before we shoot it, and that can be incredibly frustrating. And you shoot it uh, in one of the beautiful islands in Hawaii, I believe, don't you? Oahu, yes. And that's yeah. one... How many islands are there? Lots of Hawaiian islands? I'm pretty ignorant of um, uh, Oahu, the big island... Uh, Maui, uh, Kauai, and there's another little one as well, which I haven't been to yet. And so, how I, I've never been to Hawaii. It's long with a dream one. One day I want to go there. Is it? Is it a beautiful place to be? Is it nice to? It is beautiful, and the people are great. So it, you know, it, it's an American state, but of course, it's not America, is it? You no, know, it's like not. two thousand miles from LA. But um, I have to say, uh, again, for like for the first two seasons, I, I, we couldn't believe our good fortune. But then it does become like a job. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Uh, now, I'm, I was thrilled to see you in it because I remember seeing you uh, years ago in... And do you remember this uh, show? It was a, kind of a mini-series, The Buddha of Suburbia, mm. which was just... A, I, I loved the book when it came out. I really loved the series as well. Um, and it was a great thing. And then you kind of disappeared, it seemed to me, for a while. Um, after that, I, what happened to me? I think I, I ended up in the funny farm uh, for, for, for a bit. And then, uh, uh, and then I, the next job I got was The English Patient. Which is probably and that about was a year later. Uh, so it wasn't that long. So hold it. So you no, so what happened? Was it the, uh, because of Buddha Suburbia that you went off the whales or? <laughs> no, I, I was just kind of out of control at that point, I think, you know. What was it? Was it drugs? Was it booze? Yeah, it was, it was both, actually, yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it took me... I mean, I continue to work, but it, 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 I've been sober five years now, so it, it took me a long while to, like, actually ditch it. So you've given it all up? Yeah. So you were a real boozer, were you? Mm-hmm. Okay, because yeah. a lot of actors, I guess, you know, there's quite a lot of waiting around on the job, there's quite a lot of socialising involved as well. I guess it's something which you can get away with, more so than in, in the real world, so to speak. Yeah, and, you know, I, I, I think it's a lot to do with growing up in England as well, in, in London. So uh, you, were, you were drinking too much, I guess, and you were enjoying yourself, was it? I think I was enjoying myself up to a point, and, then, you know, it all turns... Uh, it turns on you, yeah. if you, like, stops working. And so you actually were in uh, a clinic, something like that? I did go rehab in L.A., yeah, uh, five years ago, but not over here. It was like, 
it was almost like people in that that time it was it was wasn't a problem you know even though you, you were visibly in that condition but you were a younger guy then of course and when you're younger i think you can kind of absorb more you, of that kind of punishment you can, you can take incredible abuse you know and still work yeah. it seems you know but did it not affect your working? I mean, did you feel that you were... Did you ever make a movie or uh, do a big part where you were drinking a lot or doing drugs a lot? Was that... And, and can you see that in your work from that period? Um, well, um, no, I can't. I, I actually collapsed on a job in Toronto in about 97. 